All right, we're in for it now. Guys, <laughs> I have been tasked with making something in the kitchen. We're calling this Cooking with the Crew, and we're continuing uh -huh. it because we can't have outside guests come into the kitchen right now. So we're making avocado toast. Fancy. And, and this is something that I, I make, and I uh -huh. mentioned it to you. In fact, I had it for breakfast this morning, and you kind of giggle a little bit. Well, because I just feel like it sounds so fancy, like you're going to eat it with your pinky out. You can eat it that way if you <laughs> okay. want, but you don't have to. That's not required. But our friends, Bob and Susan from California, turned us on to this. Mm -hmm. And we never, in fact, I'm going to put the toast down now because that's That's important. part of the step. <laughs> yes, step toast, one. Toast is involved. Toast your bread. Uh, and my favorite bread, by the way, my favorite bread to use with this is rye bread. I love rye. And, Seedless and or seeds in? It has seeds in. Okay. But it, normally we have the little pieces of rye, and Giant Eagle is totally out of that. Aww. I went to two Giant Eagles, Aww. and they are out. They said, we don't have them right now. So I had to cut off the ends so that it could fit. But anyway, make some toast. You can use sourdough bread. You can use whatever you want. And then our friends Bob and Susan introduced us to avocados. They live in California, so you... we, we really didn't know about them. Did you, when did you start eating avocados? Hmm. I've always been a fan of guacamole, but I don't know that yes. I've, you know. I, it took me a while to figure out it came from this. <laughs> But anyhow, <laughs> yeah. so, and instead of using a knife, look at this handy dandy thing. So, you cut into it like this, and you go right around. Like a knife would. Like a knife would, but it's all in one, Heather. It's That's a, the beauty of this. <laughs> you have so many contraptions. <laughs> I know. We keep the, the home supply stores in business. And then look, open it up, and there you go. So then you have the pit inside. You have the pit inside. There's the pit. And so the, on this contraption, at least, uh, it has a little thing for the pit removal. So we're going to see on live on TV how that goes. <laughs> as seen okay. on TV. Like, seriously, I feel like this was once on okay. as seen on TV. <laughs> Did you get it out? There. We go. Third time's the charm. You can also use a knife, but you should be careful. You really should be careful. Yes. All right, so now I'm going to just scoop this out because this is all the beautiful stuff that you want. Mm -hmm. And if I were doing this at home for breakfast, I'd just put it on the toast right now. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't mess around with all this other stuff. But if you want to be fancy and you want to have, like, people over for brunch or something, mm -hmm. do this. So, oh. More wait. toast is ready. More toast is ready. And I'm going to take this pit out. Oh, how do you get it out once it's I, in? I don't know. It's your contraption. Okay, there you but... go. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'm going to give you one so you can practice too. Okay, great. Okay. We've both yeah. washed our hands. Yeah, we've both washed our hands. All right, so I'm putting all this, this is... into the bowl, and then we are going to smash we have, this up. We have olive oil, thanks to Tammy Pescatelli. <laughs> Tammy said to always have olive oil, and I'll tell you what we're going to use the olive oil for. But I am just sort of mushing up the avocado here, not doing a great job of it. I th I, Bill Fuller is probably watching at home thinking, Oh my gosh, David, never go into a kitchen. But anyhow. Um, oh, that so is actually very easy. I will give you what, that. Yeah, no. It was easy. It was very cool. It was, it, it was it very, a device? It's, a, it's a very cool device. So we're going to use another device. So we, because if you, if you want to have company over and you're doing this for brunch or something, maybe you want to, you know, you put it out as an appetizer and you want to keep it from turning brown. So just a little bit of lime or lemon juice. Oh. In there, I don't want to like overpower it. And then, of course, you want to salt and pepper everything. So, got the pepper. And then look at this. I found this in the store. And I oh. thought Heather's gonna love this because it's, it's pink, pink and it's fancy. Sea salt. Yes. <laughs> Bill Fuller really is gonna love this. <laughs> all right. So we're mixing all this up. I'm still mashing because it's not really mashing very well. Uh, this is actually really soft if you wanted to use this one. Oh, really? Yeah, okay. this one is perfect. I was actually well, going to compliment one, you. I have this one ready to go. So it may not be the prettiest because I don't have it mashed up really, really well. But I think it's time to affix them to the toast. Let's do it. OK. All right. Especially because Jill just said we have 90 seconds left. <laughs> I love how a couple of days ago you said, I'm going to make avocado toast, but I don't know how I'm going to fill all that time. <laughs> right. It's and just avocados like, and, and toast. And now I'm running out of time. So anyway, you put this on the toast, mm -hmm. and you've already salt and peppered it. There's only a few more things to do. I'm going to put it on, we have some wheat toast too, so I'll put it on wheat toast as well. And you just fill it up. You try to make it look as pretty as you possibly can. And so as part of the presentation, I did these radishes and just slice them very thin. You don't actually have to soak them in anything. Mm -hmm. I soak them in olive oil and a little bit of uh, lemon juice, but you don't have to soak them in anything. But look at the color pop 
when you put that on. Yeah, I'm gonna let's move these this bowl a little oh, bit. Oh yeah, we'll yeah. See. Thank you for. Or Chris is gonna move. Chris there is we gonna go. move because I'm, I'm on the wrong side. You'd think I would get this by now so that the camera can see these. David, you know, that looks so pretty. Chris, okay, and I'm not done yet because you have the most important ingredient of all, Heather Abraham. Let me okay. tell you, this is the most important ingredient. So what do you say. Hello. It is, oh, there's an avocado. <laughs> Chris was going to catch the avocado. So this is, and I'm going to just g give the name okay. brand plug. This is Trader Joe's Chili Lime Seasoning Blend. And you say just sprinkle a little just, bit on? Well, be generous. Oh, you know. like Oh, yeah, that. that's good. That's a good amount. That's okay. good. Oh, yeah, that's Maybe good a little too. too much. No, 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 <laughs> that's all good. That is great. So you can have that one, and I'll have this okay. one. Okay. Cheers. And we'll, cheers. And this makes all the difference. We learned this from Bob and Susan's son. Uh, it, he somehow found this chili lime stuff. Mm. It is, it just gives you a punch. And now see, it's so good. don't you want this for breakfast now? Every day. Yeah? I'm on. I get mm -hmm. it. I totally get it now, David. Oh, I forgot the dill. You can put some dill on it, too. Look, see? You really are a cook. No, I'm not. I'm faking my way through. Here. <laughs> a little, little bit of dill? From a distance. Okay. Great. Yeah. Well, look at that. All right, you know, David. You put that on a platter. You, you invite people over. Have some Jason mimosas. Spectacular job, my friend. Thank you. Are you going to put the uh, recipe online? Sure. Yeah, we will put the recipe online. And in fact, I'm looking, <laughs> that, camera, that camera's not even pointing at me. All right, see how discombobulated I become in the kitchen? It's stressful. It is stressful, but we it did is. it. We're going to have the recipe at PittsburghTodayLive.com, mm -hmm. so you can check it out. You mm -hmm. can make the same thing. And then tomorrow, guess what? It's Mary Hour's turn. She is in for Ron Smiley. Looking she's going to make something. I'm not sure what she's making. I don't know, but I bet she's a good cook. I'm excited to see what she makes yeah, for us. I'm excited too. All right, we're gonna